Hey everybody, Stu, AG6AG, and I wanted just to toss out really quick a uh, real short video, and this is all about the colors that you can apply to different types of uh, CQs in WSJT65. Many thanks to N7WLC, my good buddy Mike, for turning me on to this because I always looked at that and said, ah, that doesn't look very useful. So let me go ahead and we'll get ourselves in a position where we can actually show you this. All right, now there we go. Now you should be hearing a little audio here from uh, WJ65 as well. And what I want to call your attention to is this side of the screen right here. So you notice that all our CQs here are colored green. Well, that's really cool, but, you know, it'd be nice to know if I talked to them before. Uh, maybe some more information. So, let's go into settings over here, and I'm going to go to where it talks about colors. That's the color tab right here at the top, all right? And uh, we're going to go ahead, let me move that out from behind me. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to select all of these, okay? Every single one of them. And I'll leave logbook. Yeah, we'll click that one too. What the heck? I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Let me uh, clear out my page. And notice now we have some different colors with CQ. Now, it's kind of beyond the scope of this to go over what each of those colors are. They are settable, but this uh, color right here means this would be a new grid for me, and I've never talked to that person on that grid. Over here, I see that it's blue, and that's a new call. I've never talked to him. Uh, and we kind of do this in priority order. So down here tells me that uh, that's a new grid on this band. So all of these CQs I have not talked to before. Now, what if I've talked to them before? Well, they wouldn't meet any of the new criteria over here, so they would be green. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, and now I've got a better decision on what CQ I'm actually answering. If I've talked to this guy before, if he's already in my log, because uh, let's face it, it gets a little annoying talking to the same people over and over. Let's go for this W7 call here. I'll go ahead and respond to them, and I'm just I'm looking over to the side of me right here because I'm trying to figure out uh, if all my settings are okay, I'm putting out the right amount of power. I'm not getting too much SWR. We're going to do a future video regarding what I call the triangle of uh, notification that you want to constantly be looking at whenever you're transmitting. Anyway, ooh, all right, we got them. Wow, bonus. You get to see a QSO too. So I also found that since I did this and started looking at the colors that I'm getting better QSOs and more QSOs because I'm not duplicating QSOs. Like I said, if I saw a green one over here, that means I've already talked to him. Uh, so uh, he's already in my lawn. And uh, just a second here. I'm going to wait for his response, and there you go. Okay, we got him. Uh, one other thing I want to show you before we uh, close the video, I'm going to go back under settings. And under here, there's rescan the LDIF, so I just told it to rescan so it knows uh, what, uh, what basically I've already talked to. So what we should see now on the next round of CQs is we should see W7HBL show up in green. Let's see if that's the case. Yep, and here's another one I've talked to, VA7RP, uh, RBP. So you see how that works? Pretty cool, huh? Again, I can't begin to thank Mike, W, uh, excuse me, N7 uh, WLC for turning me on to this. Uh, it is just, it's amazing. I really am glad he did it. So with that, my name is Stu, AG6AG, and I want to wish each and every one of you 73. Have yourself a great time and hope to see you out on the air.